But of course, if you're paying attention, um, we have to connect the trackpad and the keyboard before putting all the screws back in. So all you do is just move the little cable, pop it in, and lock it in. There we go. I found that my keyboard and mouse weren't working the first time, and it turned out because I had the cables seated not so well. Uh, before you put the keyboard in, it's probably best to put the screws in. Um, so you can just make life a lot easier. Though, of course, you won't be holding a camera while putting your screws in. You should be able to do it a lot quicker than me. Two screws. They're all the same, these screws, which is very handy. So if you muddle them up, it doesn't really matter, as long as all the screw holes are filled. Oh, screwdriver's too magnetised, it's getting too many screws. Safe. It's important to have these screws in pretty tight because they secure the top case to the CPU and graphics chip. Uh, as they get quite hot, the top case is actually the heatsink for them via a thermal pad, which probably isn't the best of cooling. Um, but for a 633 MHz Celeron, it's just fine. So just getting all these in. Alright, and that's all the screws for there. Let me just get the keyboard. Oh, I don't think I can do this with one hand. Oh, maybe I can. Yep, I can. Alright, so that's in. Then you just need to pull down the clips. And the keyboard has three little tabs down the bottom here. Make sure they go in properly. And these little clips at the top, you just push down and they lock in. Make sure your keyboard's nice and lined up. And that's the top one. You can close the display. Now, there we go. Alright, so my little clip at the back, I forgot about him. I didn't clip him down properly. Just pinch it there. Two side ones are done. And we can close it, flip it over. You can see my one gig RAM chips in there. And then we just need to pop in these screws around the sides. Sorry, I don't have any techno music in the background. Um, I don't really like techno that much. at all. Oh dear, I left the um, I left the silver screw on the outside of the machine. I'll have to fix that up later. Um, for cosmetic purposes of course. Oop, wrong way. Keep the ram door back on. You pop in the two screws that'll need a just find the wrong size. Now the Phillips head. Screw that one in. Then you just pop your battery in. Now Linux won't recognize this card straight away, I don't think. Um, so it's most essential that you put the little bumper back in. Without that, there'll be no little bumper. Then we flip it over, clean off all the dust, open it up, turn it on, just like that. Very responsive to the power button. As you can see, we're all up and running. Still running the Linux system. But I will switch it over to Mac OS very shortly and show you how to do that as well. That's it. Enjoy.